Not sorry. For me and my finger. The view. Secondly, the finger. I'm like, what's on V's face? Because I got it early. Because Sand and Sky love me. Good vibes, yeah, we bomb. As she calls herself. But yeah, we're on a girls' trip. I said I'd start the vlog here. We are currently on the way to Derry Nan Hotel. Kishka. Well, what? Kishka. <laughs> me, why don't you? <laughs> the grandest old place in Kerry and full of real people. Up at the top of Kishka. Real people, she says. Real people. As opposed to the fake ones. <laughs> Just arrived to our room in the Derry Nan Hotel. That's sorry. Actually, I actually never explained what was going on. I just kind of started the vlog on a road trip. Um, so basically, me, Barbara, who you've already met, Grace and our mothers and our Auntie Carol who has no daughter are doing a night away in Derry Nan in this stunning little hotel room. <laughs> okay, so we're just walking to dinner. I haven't vlogged all day. We're down in Derry Nan, okay. which is like near Waterville in Kerry, South Kerry. Kerry's actually very big, by the way. Um, but we're just walking to dinner now. And yeah, I haven't really been vlogging. I spent the day at the beach. It was gorgeous. And yeah, now we're walking to dinner. A lovely little Monday for me, isn't it? And they're the bitches. Okay, the vibes are immaculate. So this is where we are. And it's like, this is what it's called. It's O'Carroll's Cove. That's it. If you're ever in South Kerry, and look at the view like i actually just had to come in we're having a dinner inside there but it's just so pretty like oh my god i just had to come out and take i was sitting at dinner looking out at this view and i was like no i need a picture so here we are good morning good morning happy tuesday just going for hotel breakfast which is like the best part of staying in a hotel to be honest so we're going for a hotel breakfast i'll keep you updated on the quality good morning okay. see you in a minute i'm not gonna lie lads it's a bit of a it's a bit of a struggle today the whole life thing one my face got burnt yesterday which i hate for me i hate that i hate that i allow myself to <laughs> i hate that i hate that i allowed that to happen to my skin like it doesn't look bad now it just looks like but it got burned like sun damage like no we do not stand i should have reapplied my sun cream to my face but i didn't and i hate that for me not not a fan <laughs> but when i got up yesterday morning it was lashing rain so i put on my sun cream as normal but i didn't bring it with me to reapply i left it in the car and we went to the beach and this happened so that's great secondly the finger 
it has a heartbeat. I have antiseptic cream on it at the moment. I thought, I went to sleep last night and I thought like I'd wake up and my finger would just be magically back to normal. That is not the case. <laughs> Did you ever cut your own fingernail too short? And then like the sensitivity when you touch something, imagine that times a thousand. First of all, I've had a few people say, well, honestly, you went nails like that, you're gonna, no, Karen, okay? I haven't had long nails for so long, but it's just the way I was rushing and it got caught in the legging and it just, it could have happened if my nail was shorter. Like it would have happened if my nail was short, you know? If I still had these and they were like two centimeters shorter, it still would have happened. It's just unfortunate, okay? It's unfortunate, you know? I probably won't be able to get gels for a long time. Cause this has to go back. I don't even wanna think about that. Um, <laughs> so I'm gonna have to, like I'm gonna keep these for now. But I'm gonna have to get them removed when these start growing out because I can't put a new nail on this because there's no actual nail on this. So we're just, we're gonna keep it moving. We're just, I haven't even gone that far in my head. Every time I Google it, I feel nauseous just reading about it, but I just want the nail to grow back perfectly. So I have antiseptic cream on it now. I put salt in salt water this morning. I can't wash my face because I, I'm a splatter. This is my right hand also. So I kind of feel, I kind of feel useless, like uh, unbandaged at the moment, just because apparently it's better to let the air at it and I have the antiseptic cream on. And oh my God, actually this morning, this arrived. I know what you're thinking. Yes, I did indeed buy James Charles sister's merch. Don't assume anything in your head. It was during lockdown, okay? I bought it in May. <laughs> and everyone would had those really cute tie-dye, two-piece sweatsuits, like the matching jumper and pants. And I was like, I want one, but I don't want one from a massive fast fashion brand. Like, I didn't want one from Pretty Little Thing, from Misguided, from Boohoo from Sheen, from wherever else, you know, that pays their factory workers one cent an hour, you know? that That's not my vibe. So I was like, I really want one. And then I saw James Charles promoting his, and Nik I actually didn't even see James Charles, that's a lie. I saw Nikita Dragon wearing this, and <laughs> Nikita Dragon is a bad ass bitch. My face looks so much more sunburned in this light, it's great. But Nikita Dragon just is a badass bitch. And I was like, that's the answer to all of my prayers. So I bought this. It was expensive, I'm not gonna lie, but I actually didn't get customs on it, which I love. But either way, um, yeah, I ordered Sisters merch on the pack. Like I didn't get charged customs, which was amazing. I got it this morning and I just put it on straight away. It's actually very cozy. I don't know if you like James Charles, hate James Charles, don't support him, do support him. I don't really care because I have cute matching tie-dye sweatsuit now and Ireland announced yesterday that, oh my God, my face, it's actually not this red. Um, but anyway, Ireland announced yesterday that, like really weird list of restrictions basically you can't have more than six people in your house and they can't be from more than three different families but schools are reopening in two weeks which have like 30 children in a room from 30 different houses most of the time uh, you can't have six people in your house but you can go out to a restaurant where there's like 40 people you can't go outdoors to watch like a sporting event but you can go to mass I actually don't know where, how they decided this, like how someone, you know, was like, oh yeah, this makes a lot of sense. Like it doesn't make sense at all, Any anything that came out. So, you know, I have my lockdown outfit ready. I don't know. Look, here we are. My face is kind of red. I can't wash my face. So I'm a splatter and like, I don't want to get all up in my finger and I don't, I feel like that would be very sore. 
So apparently because the whole nail came off, it has less chance of being infected. I don't know, I just hope it grows back normally. I had pretty nails for not even a week and then this happened. So yeah, there's that. Welcome to my life. Uh, the plan for today is I have a shit ton of YouTube videos to edit for people and um, like my fingers very sore but I feel like I could do it but I don't know could I go to the gym like I probably couldn't lift a weight with this uh, so there's that so that's great I think I'm gonna record a podcast because I feel like this is the universe being like Rebecca you're sitting on your bed you can't do anything else record a podcast so I might do that kind of fun kind of fresh I actually feel awful so I have some antiseptic cream on my finger so sore I have such a big blob of it on but I think like the last thing I want is it for, for it to get infected so I'm like the more I protect it the better but I can't really tie up my hair properly but I'm so warm but I put on the antiseptic cream so I can't take off my hoodie <laughs> because I'm so warm but it'll like rub off the see it's my right hand as well which is very annoying I'm gonna take some tablets now because it's killing it's it's just it's not like okay on a pain scale on a scale of 1 to 10 10 being excruciating childbirth level I would say it's a five, but like a constant five. Like a niggling constant five. And like I've taken ibuprofen, I'm taking Panadol again now. It's not getting rid of the pain, <laughs> like at all. I don't like taking Panadol, I don't like taking painkiller. I just, it's not my vibe, but it's so sore. It's, so, it's stinging so badly. Like you have, I've actually, learned that i've quite a high pain tolerance like it's very sore but i'm like what can i do oh my god my so i'm trying to distract myself by like trying to do work but it's just not working also i read online that you're supposed to keep it above your heart level for some reason so i'm like trying to keep it elevated apparently my finger has like trauma now i don't know I don't know what's going on. It's fucking sore. It's not the nails fault. Like obviously I get if I didn't have false nails it wouldn't have happened. But like it has never happened to me before. Like this whole incident. But now I'm kind of scared and I just want to get all my other nails taken off. Like right now. <laughs> Just because it looks so bad, because I have like a full set of gels, like fresh gels, and then this like decrepit finger. Since I've taken the pan at all, the pain has gotten worse, so there's that. I'll talk to you later. I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. For the evening, probably nothing. <laughs> Good morning. Ooh, for me and my finger. <laughs> sorry, my face. I'm not sorry, <laughs> but my face is gets is very swollen in the mornings because in the mornings. Sorry, I brought up a whole ass pint of water. I don't know where I put it. Happy Wednesday. You can probably hear the storm. There is storm Ellen outside. She may or may not have woke me several times, but here we go. This is what I woke up to. Will we open the window? Just to... Oh, okay. No, we're going to close that. <laughs> the way the wind was blowing, it, the rain just blew in on me. But yeah, good morning. Happy Thursday. Glorious day to... um not leave the house and work which is exactly what I plan on doing because I couldn't work yesterday and by work I mean edit videos because um, my finger I had a heartbeat all day and it was very sore but now today I woke up and it actually it doesn't feel as hot which is good and it doesn't feel like it doesn't have a heartbeat but I think the scab is forming which I think is a good thing because it's like my body protecting itself so I brought up um, a little bowl of salt water 
and I'm like sitting on my bed. It's nine in the morning, it's actually early. Well, early for me. Um, but yeah, I'm just sitting on my bed and this is my little bowl of salt water and I'm just resting my finger in, in, the, in the salt water. But anyway, I got a package this morning from Dermalogica and it is the Hydro Mask Exfoliant. It's their new mask. So this is it in the lovely Dermalogica box. And basically, it's a mask that both hydrates and exfoliates, which sounds like everything I need. It says daily skin health. And you all know I love a mask. I can't read that, it's too early, the writing's too small. Let's go with this one. Anywho, it says on this lovely, you can look at that while I read this. It says, most people turn for an exfoliating scrub when your skin looks dull, then a hydrating mask when it feels dry. Skincare is all about finding balance and sometimes simplifying our routines. That's where the Hydro Mask Exfoliant comes in. It's a five minute mask that exfoliates and hydrates in a single step. Bamboo primes the skin for optimal hydration while Snow Mushroom holds 450 times its weight in water to deliver an instant hydration boost. Well, that sounds great. I love getting pure packages of products because I'm the type of person that likes to know everything about a thing. And when you get a PR package, you get a lot of information. As I've said it before and I'll say it again, shout out Dermalogica for being a real one. I'm going to put my finger back in the, oh, salty water. It fucking stings, not gonna lie. But it's good for you. Salt water prevents infection. You're actually supposed to soak it for 20 minutes. I feel like my finger would be like a prune. Um, so I just kind of sway it around for a few minutes, it's stinging you know, but it, it doesn't feel a half as sore as yesterday, which is a good thing because yesterday I took a lot of painkillers, okay? I didn't really eat much and I took a lot of painkillers and I didn't like it for me. I don't, like, I'm not thick, like obviously I won't be able to lift weights, like I can't, well I can bend my finger in fully, but it's just uncomfortable, you know? I keep accidentally touching my finger and it's very sore. Oh, good morning, happy Friday. I need to get a blow dry or something because I can't wash my hair because of obvious reasons. Um, how are we all doing? How are we all doing? I woke up feeling good, feeling fine, feeling fresh. But you know what I do need? Oh my God, my finger. Isn't she cute? What should we call her? What are we gonna do today, Pinky? Same thing we do every day, brain. Try to take, no. What are we gonna do today, brain? Same thing we try to do every day, Pinky. Try and take over the world. Pinky and the brain. Pinky and the brain. <laughs> no, no, you're not, you're not vibing. Um, yeah, hello, good morning. It is Friday and the plan for today is edit, editing, editing. So I have to finish up Sarah and Kiki's video, I have to edit Shauna's video. The life of an editor, eh? Gang, 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 gang. If you don't know how to put jeans on, baby. If you don't, I don't have any white monster. Which is fucking devastating. So there's that. I'm gonna tie up my hair now, but I've been tying up my hair with my left hand. Imagine getting a strand of hair getting caught in this. Ugh, no, absolutely not. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Saturday, 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 Saturday. I don't know did I show you my blow dry yesterday, but I got a blow dry. <laughs> Cause I can't wash my hair because my pinky. But I'm going to the gym today, lads. I'm going to the gym in a week. I know, but I just, I didn't want to go and risk getting my finger infected. And I know I could have had a plaster on and everything, but 
not to be graphic, but it was just like it wasn't healed or not that it wasn't healed it's still not healed but it was like really sensitive really raw and i didn't want like having a plaster on for a long period of time was uncomfortable i didn't want to hit it off anything in the gym and i was like you know what rebecca like <laughs> you know your fingernail fell off like you don't like it's not like this happens every week it's not like you're gonna undo all your hard work by not going to the gym so yeah i just didn't go to the gym because i didn't feel comfortable like i barely left the house to be honest all week like i went to town for the first time yesterday which was friday when i got my hair done and it just feels so nice and shiny and healthy and silky and oh the plan for today is i've actually i don't know have i mentioned this this week i feel like i have maybe i have so basically the plan for today is edit <laughs> again uh i have to edit a video for shauna and i have to edit my own weekly vlog this video you know saturday things i'm always editing but yesterday was mainly spent ed editing or finishing off Kiki and Sarah's Q&A. So Kiki, Kiki Nugent, Sarah, Sarah Godfrey. Basically, Sarah told me last night that she wants to get back into YouTube. I don't know if you're subscribed to her or not, but I have been subscribed to her for the longest. Like I've been subscri subscribed to Sarah for years. And she said basically that she wants to get back into YouTube and that she wants me to edit her videos going forward. So it's very exciting, lads. Like, very exciting. Like, obviously my main big, big goal is to make money from YouTube myself and like do that full time, but I love editing videos. Like, I'm editing videos for four different people at the moment. Shauna, Zach, Kiki, Sarah and I'm buzzing, I'm buzzing, I love doing it, I think it's really fun and I don't know, I just, I love doing it, I'm really happy. Also obviously there's the whole thing of like making your money online, we got it honeys, we got it, we got there. Oh I feel like it's been a journey, I feel like I've been talking about this for so long being like I just want to make my money online so I can like have the freedom to travel and all that stuff and like that is coming but obviously global pandemic things we're not making any rash decisions yet ladies and gentlemen. Um, just kind of gonna go with the flow for a while, see how I am and then maybe something else will happen. And that's all I'm saying on that one. Such a great week. I feel really good this week other uh, than the traumatic finger. I feel like, I don't know, my energy has shifted. Collectively, Ireland is upside down topsy-turvy. So basically, politics update. I feel like you all deserve a like, what's going on in Ireland politics update. Because some of you are from Ireland, maybe don't keep up with politics. And a lot of you aren't from Ireland and you're probably like, oh, Ireland, I wonder, like, what's the story there? Basically, this week, on Tuesday, there were new restrictions announced. So, obviously, it's nearly the end of August, like, they have to figure out what they're doing with the schools, yada, yada, yada. So, basically, on Tuesday, they announced that they announced loads of new restrictions, which don't really make sense. So, you can't have more than six people from three different households in your house, but you can still go to a restaurant with, like, loads of different tables of different people. You can only have six people in your house with three different households, but kids are actually going back to school in two weeks. And Ireland has the most congested classrooms in Europe. So like averaging 30 children in a classroom. So that's one of the rules. There's no outdoor gatherings of more than 50 people, unless it is for a religious reason, like mass. Again, mass inside, you can have as many people as you want. A wedding, you can have as many people as you want, which like, I love that for the people getting married. Like we love celebrating love, but it just doesn't make sense for like the other restrictions. And what else? We have the guards can enter your house without a warrant. But basically, it doesn't really make sense at all. Like, a lot of the regulations, like, juxtapose each other. So, like, some people can do one thing and one people can do another thing. And, like, you know, whatever. It's grand. It's not grand. But this came out on Tuesday, right? So, bear in mind now, there can't be meetings with more than six people indoors. Like, you can't have a big party. Like, none of that. Six people. Six, okay? And if you're in a restaurant, like, six people at your table. Like, you can't have, like, big gatherings. Like, 20 plus people. 30 plus people. 81 people. 81 is the magic number in the story. So, that happened Tuesday. Wednesday night, 
There was a massive golf. It's called golf gate. Hashtag golf gate. If you're not Irish or if you are Irish, look up the hashtag golf gate on Twitter. You will be entertained for hours. So basically, Wednesday, this massive meeting or like dinner, dinner party, if you will, at the Eroxus, like a golf socializing dinner with like politicians, journalists, judges, the Minister of Agriculture, the COVID compliance officer, the doll health and safety official, all attended this dinner of 81 people. It's basically like a massive party in the Oireachtas. Yeah, basically there was like this massive party of 81 people in the Oireachtas um, on Wednesday, the day after all these restrictions were announced for the general public. Kildare, County Kildare is still on lockdown because basically there was a massive outbreak in a meat um, factory and instead of addressing the fact that the meat factories are the problem, they locked down the whole county. Makes sense, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, basically there was a massive golf gate dinner. Uh, it was basically like a wedding, 81 people, like senates, Tea, like senators, politicians, ministers, judges, um, journalists, like really high up people, like the elite, you know? Like normal people always oh, know no more than six people in your house from three different households, like peasants. The elite of Irish society Oh yeah, 81 people at a dinner, like no problem. The day after, the day after all this was announced. The audacity, the audacity. They also advised people over 70 on Tuesday to like basically stay at home again. So there's that. So I feel like you all know my opinions on Irish politics. Like I went to vote, wasn't the biggest fan, using that lightly of who is now in government. Um, and just a reminder, if you are Irish, it's not just one party, it's not just one person. There's a lot of people being like, oh, we want Leo back. Like, oh, he did such a great job. Like, he's still actually in power. He's actually still the Tanishta. Like, he is actually still making decisions. Like, it's not, like, his party is in power. His party has not gone anywhere. It's literally the world's biggest PR stunt. Like, I don't understand how people, like, Leo hasn't gone anywhere just because he's not on the TV making speeches that are very well written. Quoting Mean Girls doesn't mean he's gone anywhere, honey. You know, open your eyes. Now you can see why I want to get out of here. But yeah, I mean, the government's great, like they're doing the rest. Use your top three inches, lads, just use them. Just be like, hmm, do you know what? Actually, maybe they're not doing such a great job. You know what, maybe they are very corrupt. You know what, maybe all they do care about is like the top 1%, the powerful in society and making more fucking money than they need. Capitalism, you know? And I'm not gonna sit here all high and mighty being like, fuck oh, capitalism, uh, cause like, you know, I take part in capitalism. I'm not lying. But like, <laughs> people flew home from Australia to help in Ireland because our health system is fucked. To help. So people left their very well paying jobs in Australia, very good lifestyle, at the start of the pandemic, flew home, were used during like the high times in like March and April when they didn't have a fuck, when they didn't have a clue what was going on. And then we're told we actually don't have jobs for you. So like doctors, nurses flew home from Australia during a global pandemic, risked their jobs, their livelihood, everything. They're now at home in Ireland and are unemployed. Excuse me? <laughs> Where's my tax money going? Someone, someone care to explain. This job just, baffles me it absolutely baffles me imagine like those doctors and nurses that flew home from australia can't get back into australia anytime soon their borders are closed <laughs> they won't be open till at least july 2021 oh it's just it's 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 
it has me speechless. Anyway, it's 25 past 12. My appointment's supposed to be a half 12 in the gym. I have to go run down to the gym. I will talk to you when I'm home. Goodbye, sorry. But that was my politics rant for this vlog. Hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, I think I'm gonna put a timestamp on the screen when to skip forward to for anyone who doesn't want to listen to me rant about Irish politics. Breakfast time. <laughs> I literally, it's um actually four o'clock. Literally four o'clock and I'm having my first meal of the day. Um, so there's that and I'm in the middle of editing. Big, big news just happened in, not my life, but yeah. One of my very, very good friends and previous neighbor, I have to say the friend thing first, not the neighbor, Connor Byrne just signed with Sony Records like absolutely insane i've literally known him what feels like all my life like since we were very very young kids like three years old could be younger claim to fame but yeah like very good friend and it's actually insane like he just put up the instagram post and i was like sorry what like absolutely unbelievable so if you haven't heard of him if you don't know now you know he was if you watch the vlogs he was in the vlogs at Christmas time. So if you watch the vlogs, you'll know Connor or you'll have seen him before. If not, I'll link his Spotify and everything down below. Not that he needs a shout out from me and my YouTube channel. Clearly he's doing fine. But yeah, like watch people from my hometown grow. Watch them succeed. Oh, I'm living. I'm absolutely, I'm buzzing for him. Like I'm absolutely buzzing. Oh my god, lads, it is Saturday night, like night night, like bedtime. What's new? What's new? Nothing. Nothing is new. Um, <laughs> anyway, I said I'd end this video that has been very chaotic. I feel very focused on the dramatics of my non-fingernail, which, either way, you can see my fingernail. It's healing. Uh, she's not... She's slightly swollen, so I can't really bend it fully. But you know what, it's fine. Got to the gym today, it felt good. Anyway, I said I'd finish this vlog by trying out a new mask from Dermalogica. This is not where I say that the video has been sponsored by Dermalogica, not yet, sweeties. But anyway, they've launched a new mask, which I'm very intrigued about. It's a hydrating and exfoliating mask. So I'm gonna put it on and then I'm gonna to explain to you while it's on what it does. So it says, apply generously to cleansed face and neck, which I've done, massage in circular motions until spheres disappear. What the hell is a spheres? Let mask activate for three to five minutes, then rinse thoroughly. Okay, what the hell are spheres? We're gonna, we're gonna find out what the spheres are, right? So we're gonna, Put it, wait, oh, it, it doesn't squeeze this top bit like you push it down. You're my mirror. Oh, the, I'm assuming the spheres are the circles. It smells interesting. It doesn't feel gritty, like it's not like that, Um, you know, those exfoliators that were banned, the like really gritty ones. Oh, it's like the spheres are like, they're like these blue ball-y crystals. See the blue ball-y crystal things? Great. So it's until they disappear into your skin. I'm assuming they're like balls of hydration. I could be very wrong. I'm very intrigued because normally a mask is either exfoliating or hydrating. It doesn't really normally do both. Most people turn to an exfoliating scrub when skin looks dull, then a hydrating mask when it feels dry. But skincare is all about finding balance and sometimes that means simplifying our routines. So this is for the gal on the go, you know, doesn't want 700 face masks, wants one that will do it all essentially. Um, what size is this? I feel like it's quite small. It's 50 mil. Okay. Anyway, um, the Hydro Mask Exfoliant smooths and renews in five minutes, 
for luminous, healthy looking skin. Interesting. The smell is quite interesting. It's, it's like non-existent. It's not heavily fragranced, but it has bamboo, which dissolves upon activation, deliver a targeted gentle exfoliation. Snow mushroom, which holds 450 times its weight in water, infusing the skin with hydration, antioxidants, and vitamin D. We love that. Phytolipids from jojoba seed. Sunflower and safflower helps fortify skin's natural moisture barrier. Sugar beets deliver amino acids that hydrate and help strengthen skin's moisture barrier. And cucumber extract provides a soothing, refreshing finish. I hope you all enjoyed this week's vlog of me losing my finger. <laughs> I mean, look, we're keeping it interesting, aren't we? Like, who knows what could happen next week? Like, this week, I lost my fingernail. Next week, I might win the lotto. Who knows? Who knows? I have my candle burning on my big, massive lavender candle from TK Maxx that's nearly gone. And I think I'm due a TK Maxx trip. I think we're gonna go there next week. We're gonna go to TK Maxx and we're gonna look at all of the autumn winter candles. And autumn, winter, even though I want to live in a warm climate, I love autumn, winter. Like it's a real juxtaposition. Like I love autumn, winter cozy vibes. I love them. Oh, I have my little bamboo um, cotton pads so they're not like the once used ones. I'm just gonna wipe it off with this. I'm expecting my skin to look fab, hydrated, exfoliated. Yes, Rebecca, duh, like that's exactly what the mask is supposed to do, but that's what I mean. Like I have high hopes, you know? High hopes. Um, what time are we? I think it's like one in the morning. 1 a.m. and um, I still have this video to edit. So last Sunday, I don't think I actually addressed this. Last Sunday, I the video just took so long. It just wasn't uploading. Like all day, I was so stressed. And then I had my astrology course. As I started an astrology course, I haven't even updated you on that. I feel like we need to have a sit down chat, <laughs> which is what my entire vlog is. So you actually didn't have any Sunday vlog last Sunday and I'm so sorry. It didn't go up till Monday because basically there was actually an issue with YouTube. I saw it in my YouTube studio today that they were like, because in the back end of YouTube, like where I upload the videos and stuff, it says like, you know, bugs that were fixed or issues that were fixed or whatever else. And it said, um, recent issue, slow uploading. I was like, oh, you think so? Last Sunday I was just very frazzled and then I had my astrology course. I'll talk more about that next week. Um, but, so then that kind of calmed me. But then like all Sunday evening, I was like, this video needs to go up, but it just wasn't going up. And I was just not in a great way to be honest. And then I went to sleep Sunday night and I was like, if I wake up tomorrow morning and this video is not uploaded, I swear to God. So, it was uploaded anyway on Monday and I put it live Monday morning, like first thing, like eight o'clock. I actually had a really good week to be honest. Um, but yeah, so that is the mask fully off. Oh yeah, here we go. Can you see my skin after the mask? Look at her. Not here glowing. I haven't even put him on my moisturizer yet. Actually, I can show you. Oh my God, oh my God. Lads, this is like a skincare special at the end of the video. Hold on. But yeah, I can tell you about the two new products from Sand and Sky because I saw, I don't think they're launching till the 25th, but I saw that they sent them out to some of their VIP customers and like they were talking about them. So I'm sure it's fine. So this is, they have, they bought out a serum, another serum, or no, I think this is their first serum because the other thing was like their dreamy glow drops but this is a serum. I don't know, can I talk about it in depth? Cause I don't know how much they've showed on their Instagram story. I guess I could check, couldn't I? They have brought out 
this new Tasmanian spring water range. What I love about Sand and Sky is like all their products come from like the n nature, the nature, yeah, in Australia. So this is the um, Tasmanian spring water splash serum. So it says helps reduce the appearance of fine lines, dryness for more youthful lasting looking skin with this potent weightless serum with two types of hyaluronic acid to help hydrate and replenish the skin with moisture with fermented Australian sea kelp that protects and soothes plus Tasmanian spring water fortified with minerals and ultra fresh straight from the Tasmanian spring. So I've been adoring this like when I wear this my skin wait till you see the glow and then we have this bad boy this is my new night cream that i have been i've been using this every single night and i'm adoring it so this is the tasmanian spring water hydration boost cream and this basically says so it basically says get an instant burst of hydration and help improve the appearance of fine lines so it's like anti-aging which we adore this weightless water cream delivers long-lasting moisture containing two types of hyaluronic acid and a unique botanical blend for supple and healthier looking skin. Nutrient-rich sea kelp helps reduce the water loss in the skin plus pure, plus pure Tasmanian spring water balanced with minerals for refined skin texture. So it helps with your skin's texture, water loss, because we don't want to lose water in our skin. We want our skin to be plump and hydrated and gorgeous and supple and stunning. So I have been adoring this. Now the only thing I did notice, because I'm honest with you guys, you guys, <laughs> I'm honest with you all, um, it is there is a smell, like there is definitely a fragrance from it, but I feel like that's like the sea kelp. Like I feel like it's, like it's more of a, like a sea, not a seaweedy smell, but like, I guess that's probably where the scent is coming from. Cause I did look at it and it does have fragrance in it. Now, I don't think my skin reacts badly to fragrance. I just know that I've been so turned against fragrance from watching Skincare by Hiram. Cause he is like no to fragrance, like absolutely not. So I kind of got turned off it, but then I kind of had a chat with myself and I was like, Rebecca, if it's not harming your skin, then, it, then it's fine. But I feel like, you know, some people are sensitive. But then again, I do have quite sensitive skin, but this hasn't been like flaring up my skin or my skin hasn't had any negative reaction. So this is like my nighttime secret weapon for the glow. I wore this on my stories um, a few weeks ago because I got it early because Sand and Sky love me. Um, <laughs> shout out Sand and Sky, they love me. Um, not sponsored, um, but yeah. And I've been really, really liking it. I'm just gonna put them on my eye serum now. This is the Dermalogica Biolumin C Eye Serum. Remember, I kinda burnt my skin during the week and that's very bad because I was using retinol. So I haven't really used a lot of retinol all week just because um, I was bold. See, I went out in the sun, but I totally forgot about reapplying and it was a really cloudy, rainy day when we woke up. So I didn't think to bring it with me and then it just turned into this beautifully stunning day and I burnt my skin and I know, I know I'm very bad. I'm actually gonna put extra moisturizer now on my nose because um, hydration. It was just a little slip up, okay? It won't happen again. How can I preach on being a skincare queen if I get sunburnt on my face? Like absolutely not, never happening again. It was just, I just didn't realize that I'd have to reapply because I'm Irish, I'm from Ireland. I haven't been in the sun in a while, you know, moved back from Australia about a year ago. So it's all new to me, this whole sun thing. Okay, I'm gonna show you my skin now after putting on that. <gasps> can you? Sorry, Sand and Sky. Sand and Sky. Look at this. I'm like, what's on V's face? 
I'm glowing to the like sorry I look like I got a facial like a facelift so this is my skin after the new Dermalogica exfoliating hydrating mask and using the new Sand and Sky Tasmanian spring water products these brands need to be paying me sponsoring me you know I'll keep you updated because obviously these two products are new in my skincare so I can't say whether or not they're like absolute ride or dies. I have been using the Sand and Sky stuff for a bit longer and it hasn't broke me out or anything and I love how it makes my skin glow but the mask obviously that was my first time using it so I'll keep you updated on that one. I'm gonna sign off this vlog here because I'm glowing and like what better place to end the vlog also i have to go edit this now it's like one in the morning i'm going for breakfast with, girl, with the girls at 10. thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment like and comment it boosts my video to people who don't know who i am and like why not thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe goodbye